Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Good. Wait. There you are. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm uh, I'm great. I'm great. I've been waiting for this day uh, uh, because I'm, I made this uh, a gift to myself uh, for uh, something for myself. Decided to do uh, and uh, try it out. I've never had a session before. I've participated in uh, channeling group channeling with uh, with uh, Stephanie Light. Uh, she's a Bashar. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a sunny channeler, it's a girl. Channeler. Cool. Yes, yes. Uh, she channels uh, Cece, uh, yeah. girl named Cece, yes. And, uh, but she's very uh, serious mm -hmm. about things. She's very nice, but very serious. And <laughs> uh, yes, and, and, and when I saw your, your work, your, your, your passion, uh, your attitude, it just blew my mind. And uh, uh, I just uh, saw so much freedom You've been and, uh, following me for a while. I have, I have, but not recently. In the last uh, maybe a month, I've been had a lot of work and had to concentrate on myself. Good, because it's all about you. Remember, yeah. All we do is show you the way to find you. You know, we, we have ourselves. The more you fall in love with yourself, the more you realize other people don't need you and you don't need other people. In the human collective, since we're born separated, we have this idea of dependency, need others for internal validation. When you become the creator or validate yourself, you understand people can't die. They can't yeah. experience anything except human when you're experiencing human. So yeah. then, you know, you have to do work on yourself. Good. <laughs> yeah, but do, but do you actually put barriers? Uh when you relate to other people because they can be very pushing oh uh, no 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 no! i don't put berries i just stop playing with them you, you don't you don't respond to their to their manipulations to oh, their no. no because i don't need to fix them here yeah. just watch if someone's doing something to you so let's say let's say in, in a nice way a parent or a friend gives you advice they're looking out for your best interest but see, that's their best interest, the way they see your world. I, I, I completely agree. Okay, I've been, well, good. I've been, trying, I've been trying to be the nicest, the sweetest person to them. Like the Why? Nicest, like you said, uh, they're asleep. Make them comfortable to sleep. Have their sleep right. comfortable. But you Just, don't have to keep, keep yourself there when it's painful. But mentally, mentally, I'm still with them responding to their giving the feedback inside myself even though i've got, okay okay I, all right all right so let, let, let's talk about that let's talk about that but um, i'm okay with it. i'm okay with this because i know it's just a part of social relationships with my no, family no 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 it's not a part of it that has a permanency you don't have to have an emotional relationship inside of your mind even though you're having it that's mm -hmm. part of the human experience but there's nothing required let me tell you something. There is nothing that is standard in creation. Nothing except for the laws. That's it. Everything else is a creative belief system for an experience. You think God's outside. Let's say Octurians are creative and they're like, oh, that's a weird Octurian. Octurians don't have emotions. They're not human. They don't have polarity. They don't have judgment. Humans do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I okay, like okay. So if you know that, then your statement about I can have to in that emotional conversation in my mind, you don't have to have that. That's a belief system. I agree. I agree. I agree. Let me ask you a question. When you started to feel this uh, this honesty uh, with existence inside of you, have you been mean and angry with other people in the beginning? Maybe because trying to push, push them a little away back, push them back a little bit. Well, I had the anger inside of me about other people. Yeah. Because I was raised that way. Yeah. I was raised in a very hostile, angry environment. You know, my parents weren't physically abusive, but they were not very they were cold. Angry they were cold. Yeah. So don't worry about everybody else. Look, yeah. when I say humility, surrender, vulnerability, I'm talking about for you to see your truths about reality. Because they don't they're not with anyone else. Yeah. 
humans have a way of putting their truths on things. Yeah. We don't do that in here unless it's in a part of the human experience. We don't label other things as a truth. We do not objectify as the nature, but humans, we do that. We're like, oh, that's that, that's that. You're good, you're bad, that's wrong, yeah. I'm right. Yeah. Okay, that's the experience. That is the experience. That, mm -hmm. You can't get that anywhere else. Emotionally, it sucks. Emotionally, it feels like it has a purpose. Emotionally, humanly, you have to figure it out. No, you don't. All you have to do is understand it by accepting it and say, oh, I'm thinking I have to fix this about this relationship I'm having with this person. They're making me angry. So I have anger. Good. Let me feel anger. I'm really fucking mad. Good. So I'm going to accept and become and live in a, and feel without pushing it away, my anger. Your yeah. anger. It becomes my your anger. anger. Comes it, better. Belongs to you. it belongs to you. If you have anger, of course. it's your anger. It's right. not no, other people have nothing to do. It's your own anger because it's your choice. Because, be because they triggered your belief system yeah. that would <laughs> interpret anger. But that's part of the human experience. That's great. Phenomenal. Okay. But that's where humility comes in. You got to go, well, fuck, it ain't them. It's me. Doesn't mean they're not being an asshole. Assholes are assholes. They're all over the fucking world because they need attention. Why do people behave in the way that they do? because they need to be accepted. 99% of human behavior would not be enacted if they were fine with themselves. Yeah, it was a story in their mind. It's just a story. Yes. That they, they, this is a story that they're part of Absolutely. somebody doing something important, doing something valuable. And they believe their story so much. Because that's the it. human yeah. experience. There's no not believing it when that's all they know. If you're yeah. born empty and the only thing you know is your culture, how the fuck is that false? Until yeah. you awaken. So the asleep are real. They're reality. That's their world. That's their experience. They're taking, they're taking Stay their the fuck power. away from them. Get into your world and create your reality. Because you literally create it with every interaction behavior. If you, when you started, when you, started. Thing, you get shit. You start yeah, so you awesome, you get awesome. Go ahead. When you started doing this, when you started doing this, uh -huh. uh, how, uh, how, uh, how aggressive have you started? No, not, not with others, with yourself. When you started to realize you had to push yourself further away inside yourself. No. Was it, was it, like, a, was it like a calm process for you or have you been raising your confidence? It's a, it, level it's, a, level? It's, a, it's a thing in a moment. See, that's mm. the thing that this can't, I can't teach you. You're mm. going to have to find out for yourself because you can't get it wrong. Yeah. you're only going to discover the parts of yourself when you haven't, here's what I do. When I teach my ego classes, I go like this. Are you upset? Yes. That's your shit. How do you deal with it? By accepting okay. it and understanding it, whether it's big or small, or aggressive or not, is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. If you be yourself every moment, choosing your truth, 100%, you're going to find every piece of belief system in your body that no longer belongs with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every single one. It's gonna bring a lot. Of, it's gonna bring a because lot of. Uh, you're enlightening. You're enlightening your kingdom, and you're looking around, going, "That's fucking shitty." Wow, look at that belief. I have hope. Why do I have hope when I'm a creator? That's yeah. called enlightenment. But the asleep world, and I'm talking about ninety percent of the uh, spiritual world, thinks that you need to be fixed through their process, which is still polarity, which is externalization. It's outside. The kingdom of heaven lies within. You got to see, oh my God, that's my shit. So yeah. it's not that I went at it aggressively. I was brutally honest with myself every fucking moment. And I knew that this was my shit. And I would tell, it's like Tommy would make me mad or my mom and dad would make me mad. And I was like, God, I fucking am pissed off at you. But that's my anger. I fucking hate it. I fucking do. But I know it's me. Then... Whatever their behavior was after I accepted it didn't make me upset anymore. I didn't know, agree with their behavior, but I'm not going to get mad at them for that because I don't have an emotional attachment. There's no dependency on them to act a certain way. It's like a, it's like a husband telling a wife to dress a certain way because he needs to be seen with the person that it is. 
and she accepts, so she's depending on him and he's depending on her. And that's externalization. That's not wrong. Fuck no, that's human. I'm not human, so I don't play the human relationships. I become myself and allow people to understand me the way they want to. And if I feel an emotional attachment to that reaction, then I got some shit to work on. Mine. Make sense? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Perfect. You're, you, you're, you're, you, you have the ultimate responsibility for everything. Ultimate. Even, yeah. even for thinking someone will do good for you, it's still your responsibility for believing that. But don't think that way. Don't think I, anyway. I, don't I, think I, at all. Bashar said it. There's no reason to think on this planet and you don't actually have responsibilities. I'm not doing something for me. I'm doing me, which does something for me. It discovers me. I'm being my world, my truth. People tell me in the past, not so much anymore, but people tell me, oh, channelers don't cuss. You have to ground. You have to make sure there's no evil entities and all that. And I was like, fuck you, bullshit. Mm -hmm. Go and have your world. This is the way it is. Those people shift and go in their world. I don't give a fuck because I don't need them because I am. I'm enough. I'm a creator. My kingdom is my interpretation. My relationship to my reality is mine. So I found me, not them, not the rules, but human is rules. Human is, oh, here's your church. <coughs> here's your religion. Here's your education. Here's how it's supposed to be. You get out into the world and it's nothing like that. It's you're looking for everyone else to be the same as you because you have no self-worth, so authentic, that's awakening, blah, blah, blah. Phenomenal. You're fine. Yeah. You are. As an as a, as a, as a ever-existent uh, nature, of course we are. Of course we are eternally. Effortless. Okay, so then be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. You don't have to be the human. I've been trying. Well, I only have one thing. I only have one thing. Uh, I'm uh, trying to work as a public uh, person in the public uh, environment in Russia, uh, as a as a scientific journalist, and I go on TV, on radio, and uh, and people have expectations of me uh, to behave, to speak, to do things a certain way. Then don't. But, See, that's that's the thing. Uh, and I have it on that's my That's not head. a thing. That's your thing. Yeah, that's my thing. Wait that's a minute. Thing. Watch. I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. Here's your bubble. And here's your bubble. And here's your bubble. And here's your bubble. So wherever you change yourself will match that world. Here's the expectation from this guy. You relate. You create that world. No, no, no. You got to do it this way. Okay, you're right. I got to do it this way. That's your world. That's your world. You choose. You don't choose these worlds. You lose these worlds. What world do you go to? This one that you've never seen. You think there's not going to be a world? You think it's all going to fall apart because you're not doing what you're supposed to expect? It? And that's the thing, Roxy, because they're going to... No, no, bullshit. That's a belief system. Yeah. The only way to find out is to fucking do it. I fucking channel my fucking way, my way. I create my world. I'm not surprised. Was I afraid? Yes, of course I was. Was I afraid that it wouldn't work out? Absolutely, because I'm human. But you'll never fucking know ever until you find out. If you think, oh, they're expecting me to act a certain way, I better do that. Well, then you, then you made a fucking choice. And when you, what do you get? you get the same world you're fucking creating because you're changing yourself to be in their world, which is the world you're currently in. You want to go to your world. You got to change your relationship and choose your truth in the moment, not in time, not in time, not in time, not in time, in the moment, and then let it go where it's going to go. People go, oh man, man, that was crazy. You shouldn't have said that or something. Yeah, many like, times. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck you. Yeah. You're afraid to say fuck you? Then be afraid. Yeah. You create yeah, afraid. your fucking reality. You see that now, right? I, 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 I see that. I see that. And I've chosen to be myself, first and okay. foremost. Always. Always. Because I see there's no point in trying to. So why do you have that doubt? Because you're moving into a new you. Very good. 
You're ready uh, to yeah, say, I'm, hey, the science I'm saying, of the world. I'm saying no more and more now. Good. More and more. Yes. Because people, people, when they see me with, with this whole Buddhist thing, <laughs> me going totally crazy on Buddhism with images and everything, they think I'm insane. And so let them think that. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. control them. Or you can dumb yourself down and yeah. put yourself back into a fucking box and live a miserable life. Yeah. Either way, it's a yeah. priceless life that's, for the creator. Uh, Roxy, let's close this topic. I just want to say the last thing. When they see me going really spiritual with this Buddhist, with this Buddhist like waking up thing, uh, because that uh, they a lot of them start provoking me and hating me and trying to be nasty. Okay, so see, look at you. Yeah. You said let's close this, and what did you do? You just yeah. took to you yeah. stop, stop. You just took a shit on yourself. That's what you did. You shit on you because you're living in the past. No. That's how you create your reality. I don't give a fuck what people do, but you do, so you feel that. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You go, wow, there's that reaction. But look, I'm still here. I got yeah. my computer, I'm talking to Roxy, everything's fucking fine, but my emotions and my memory are kicking my ass. That's my belief systems. Wow, I don't need to pay attention to them. I don't need yeah. to keep bringing it up and having a pity party for me. All see, these see, people hate me. Wah, 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 wah. Well, What's going to happen to you? I never was able to say fuck you to anyone. Okay, but, then that's your yeah. choice. I don't yeah, give a but, fuck about but, that. But I, I don't I, I, care. I, 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 yeah. I don't care. That's your problem. You care. How I'm can you care? Uh, I, 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 the reason, the reason uh, why I like you so much because because you've actually done it. You went yes. further be beyond it. You went yes. a mile to actually stop caring. Stop caring. Yes, because I said there's this, no concern for thing. anyone. What yeah, did you say a minute ago? What did you say a minute ago? The nature of thing, everyone's fine. Yeah, you're damn yeah. right. But you don't know that. You use that as an affirmation. But you have to know that. Because then if you know everyone's fine, then whatever is you're telling them is your truth, and how they react doesn't matter because you're going to find out something. There's no fucking way you can ever convince anyone to think your way or to accept you. It's up to them 100%. No matter how much you try, you're going to always be the idea of lack full when you're always looking for others to accept you. Always. Yeah. That's your choice. Do you love the Buddha thing? If the answer that's, is yes, then keep absolutely, doing it. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter if other people, but you're afraid. So what are you literally doing? You're working on your belief systems. Good. Wow, this sucks, Roxy. I'm working on my fears because I love doing this and I'm getting rejected. Wow, what do I do? You don't fix it. You accept your belief system that others are rejecting me and I'm going to have a bad time because of that but I have a good time over here. So maybe I'll negotiate with it. Maybe I'll hide it. Or maybe I'll just be lack full like I've always been. Or I'll say, thanks anyway, bye, and just shift and keep being me. Because no one creates you except you. <laughs> yeah, it's my responsibility, always. Always my responsibility. Now, I understand. I can never that. blame anyone. Can never. I've been teaching myself to not blame ever. Even the worst person, never blame anyone. Just okay, stop. great. Yes, no ever. shit. Because you know that's ever. your relationship of assigning. That's externalism. Like those keeping, people. Keeping the, this mental story, this game that someone is better or worse. is that's playing. Human. Human yeah, it's human no game. Shit. Human. That's not yeah. a surprise. Don't go, being wow, the, it's being, a mental game. Yeah, being yes. the right man, being the right man, then being the wrong man, I'm being the right man. That's totally wrong. It's okay, so stop talking yeah. about it. Yeah. Okay, you're done with that. You need to move yeah. the fuck on. All you're doing is making sure you're right. You got to stop. Yeah. You got to go ahead and be awesome and go about your reality. Awesome, exactly. <laughs> I really love, uh, I love how you talk about being awesome. Uh, I think it, it, I think it, it has to this this uh, this uh, word awesome the, the nature of awesomeness really brings forth like the positive energy, not fear, not fear because this all this relationship with others a lot, a lot of fear there. But when you talk about being awesome, it's really positive energy. It's so, not even positive energy because positive energy to the human is a concept, which mm -hmm. means it's limited. 
Mm -hmm. Awesome, being full of your own awesomeness yeah. is beyond yeah. positive. It's mm -hmm. a state of being. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a state of being that doesn't need to be defended. It's a state of being that you don't justify. Mm -hmm. It's being your isness. See, you get ripples of emotions. When you're being yourself and those friends and those acquaintances or those people on the radio shows are telling you to be different, you can't be. In 2015, I rejected Hollywood. Hollywood wanted me to be something. They flashed all this stuff on me. We want to do a channeling show. We want to do this. We're going to make these movies and you have to do this, this, and this. And I was like, no, I'm not doing those things. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I'm going to do. I'm not going to put myself in a box. Well, this is the way it's done. Well, goodbye. You get it? I'm not going to change for them unless you want that life. That's not a wrong life. It's your life. You take it where you will. You can't get it wrong. The only wrong in you is whether you're choosing your truth or not, because it's not really long. It's wrong. It's painful. Mm -hmm. To choose the non-self is painful at this point of your evolution. To choose the self is obviously awesome. <laughs> yeah. I never not choose me. I never hesitate. Did I? Yes. Was I afraid? Of course, because I evolved it. I've been through it. I live it. You want to know what it's like. I can't give it to you. All I did was represent I'm awesome. I choose my truth. I don't give a fuck how what people think about me. I don't hesitate on my words. I don't dumb versions down of myself. I don't conform because I create my world. Do you think for one second, if I don't do what they need me, my whole entire universe collapses? That's bullshit fear. I create this world and all the vibrations of my vibration match. And I still have a reality, but it doesn't contain this world. That's where you go world, world, world. Remember Bashar? Billions of Earths a second. That's real. That's a reality. The more choosing I do, the more awesome my reality gets. Yeah, shifting, shifting. I think that's what. Well, constant. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You're doing awesome. You're just facing your fears, your oh, yeah. belief systems. Mm -hmm. Everybody has them because that's the human experience. Mm -hmm. To forget, covet everything outside as authority, as scripture, change yourself to get to the end of the game in good fashion, and then die. <laughs> but that's the human. But you woke up and you're going, I love to be Buddha. I'm going to be a Buddha. I'm going to explore the Buddhism. I explore channeling. I explore playing the flute. I explore cooking. I explore playing Xbox. I explore whatever the fuck my heart says in the moment without hesitation. And it's not supposed to be productive or purposeful. It's my reality. Creation isn't judging what I'm doing. Creation is unconditional. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm putting out vibrations of awesome, why would I get a not awesome reality? <laughs> you just have to do it enough times to see it. Yeah. Practice, practice. Yeah. yeah. So whenever you're in that world and you are confronted with the moment of choosing, wait a minute. If I say this, this might have bad, bad results. There might be consequences, <laughs> but consequences are actually a concept of a belief system because that's polarization. Hmm. So there are no consequences. So that means that fear is a belief system. So what feels good? Let me say this and you say it. And then everyone else experiences your truth. How they experience has nothing to do with you. But if you're trying to make yourself fit their world, you're fucked. <laughs> you're gonna be pulled in every fucking direction that you can imagine trying to jump from one hoop to the next to make everybody fit. You know how many people gave me advice? You know how many people says, Roxy, I don't know if you should yell or not. You know, I, I think you need a better vibration. I was like, really? Well, good. You go find that vibration somewhere and have it for yourself because I'm going to yell. Bye. I have to find me. The only way to find me is through me. How do you find yourself if you use other people's blueprints, other people's truths? The externalization, that's the experience. 
Pavel, that's the experience, is to look to others to lead you. That's the experience of the human. You're done with that, obviously. <laughs> now you want to be the internal journey. So what you have to do is shed the truths of your past self and create the new self by choosing the new self in the moment. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. When, when you wrote to me uh, that we're going we're gonna to decide whatever comes in the moment, that immediately flipped me to reality. Like, whoa. So like, and I, I, I realized that being in the moment for you is like it's, it's such a such a priority, such a high priority thing. And but but remember, I use that as a tool, now I never not in the moment because the nature yeah. of us is the moment. We create time for an experience. I don't use time anymore. Yeah. Do you, go such a, do you ever go like in dreamy states of thinking states? Like where you just think on about something like and lose, lose track of time like normal people say? I, it's not that I keep time anymore. So yeah. yeah it doesn't I, matter. I, but you like they daydream sometimes you like oh sure i ponder all kinds of stuff especially when i'm like washing dishes or cooking my mind is in the galaxies understanding creation wherever my focus is it won't be the same as yours you'll be in your reality and it might be the same subject but you're going to explore it your way because law of attraction doesn't fail if you're interested in this you're going to be good. So let's say there's a guy, there's a guy on YouTube. His name is Pat McAfee. Okay. He was a NFL punter. He started a small little YouTube show and it's grown into this monumental fucking thing is almost as big as ESPN. He's got this show. Everyone wants to be on it. The only thing he did was focus on is the way he was going to do it himself. He knew what he was and lived that he never changed. And he created a dynasty because he attracts. That's a sportscaster. Do you think there should be a uh, an awakener that's better than a, just a sportscaster? Or what if Pat McAfee or someone like him was a truck driver and he created the best truck in the world for him to drive trucks? Creation doesn't see what you're doing. Creation gives you what you are. It is absolutely unconditional. So no matter whatever you go, you're going to create if you are that truth. So your truth about exploring Buddhism, you're going to fucking take a trip to where you can explore Buddhism and maybe in Cambodia. Who the fuck knows? You're going to create your reality. So whenever those thoughts come in about what you are in your pursuit of knowing, those things will be attracted. So I'm always contemplating what is creation and I get new information from an infinite number of sources about how creation works all the time, ponderings, understanding the self, understanding others, looking at those things, but looking at them as a subjective investigator of reality, not an object to fix and make sure I'm doing it right. Cause that's through the you, human. through, through, through yes. I am. the, I am. the first law, the, I am principle. <laughs> it's always I am. That's yeah. evident. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. You're doing great. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm getting ready to really push harder. Really push harder. How about your this? channel? Your channel. You give me so much passion for okay. this thing. You can use push harder. Use yeah. that. But remember, courage in the now, and it's actually courage. effortless. Yeah. It's and joyful, effort. and joyful and blissful and yeah, funny because all you have to do is like hilarious. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Your truth. Yeah. It's not yeah. hard to choose. The hard part is the experience because you're going to go through your fears. Yeah. Of judgment, <laughs> of judging yourself and judging others. Yes. Of judgment, the yes. self judgment. But those are belief systems. Yeah. So, wow, yeah. that's a belief. That's mine. I created that for an experience. I understand it. I own my belief, but I'm not going to choose it. I'm going to not feed that. I'm going to feed this awesome. Thank you very much, belief, for the idea. But no, I'm going to do this. The more you be awesome, the less beliefs you have. Beliefs go away because you're not feeding them. You have to accept them. In my world, I had to accept my beliefs. It wasn't them. It was me. My personal belief says that. Personal belief. Personal belief. About yourself. Yes. And about then I just didn't are. choose it. I didn't choose it. Like, for example, your belief that you're a channeler. No, 
I don't believe it. I know it. You know it. Okay. So I have the same thing that I'm a Buddha. Then you're a it. Buddha. That's all there is. You don't need anyone else to justify that. If you're doubting yourself, it's not that you're not a Buddha, that you're exposing yourself to your own doubt. Wow, I'm doubting I'm a Buddha. At one time, I doubted my channeling. Of course I did, because I'm fucking human. I'm not perfect when I get here because I'm perfect in the moment of exploring. I'm an explorer. The education system says you've got to get it right because if you're wrong, you're not, you're, you're somehow less. That's all fucking bullshit. I was doubt to understand my doubt through my channeling. But at one point I was like, wow, I'm a fucking channel. Done. There's no more beliefs. There's no more arguments because I know it. When I know it, I am it. Make mm -hmm. sense? I, I, I think, I, I hope I'll, I'll be the same with anything uh, with my own. Of course voice. you will. In the, own, now, uh, yeah. in the now, in the now, be your awesome. That's all it takes. And you'll be your own version of yourself that doesn't have belief systems. You're yeah. still human, having a human experience, but you're not using the human idea externalization value to create yourself as an experience. You're creating yourself as an experience from the internal self. Completely different idea. Self, yeah. Awesome. Where do you live in Russia? In Moscow, in capital. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I lived six years in the States in the South. I think you're living in the South too, right? Yeah, I'm in Texas. Texas. I lived in uh, for a year in Tennessee yeah. and, then for four, and then for four years in uh, Southwest Virginia, in the mountains, in the coal mining area with, 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 the, with, the, with the very Southern, Southern hospitable people, very simple yeah, yeah. People, coal miners. Down there four years. I, I had a full scholarship to the University of Virginia uh, there. Wow. The, to the branch. Yeah, 16. I was just 16 years old. <laughs> and uh, I, I was I was a senior in high school and I was 15. And uh, I started smoking pot in high school. I was a hippie. I was basically a pothead all my, all my time in America. But I had a most amazing time because I was free of seriousness in sure. Russia. Everything is so serious. People here are very serious about it. Yes, because they have lack and they're, they're serious yeah. about reality. They're walking they out their advantage. stories, their anger, their, their yeah, yeah. confidence, their, their, their blame. Their <laughs> don't worry it. about them. Ah, yeah. Keep being you, you'll create a different, uh, different Russia. Your Russia. Make yeah, sure you're in your My world. story. My story. Yes. My own story. Takes of time. Of Takes of time. Up. So what do you do there? Uh, science? I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a scientific journalist, um, <laughs> editor-in-chief. Uh, I have my own business, small company. Uh, I have the largest in Russia website about nuclear energy. I have over 100,000 publications. Yeah. Every day I do like 30, 40 news about Russian and global nuclear industry. And, it's, amazing. and it's, it's an independent website. It's an independent website. You're and amazing. I, I just life dealt this to me. And at no, first, no, you no. attracted it to you. I attracted it. I, I, yeah. Make sure you own your own creation. Uh -huh. It wasn't life that gave it to you. It was you that gave it to you through yeah. your idea of exploration. And I took responsibility. I took responsibility. It's for 12 years now my website has been 12 years. And Keep going, whatever you do, because you're going to be okay with discovering you at one point. Yeah. 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 But now, now, now uh, I really, uh, I've been living in my own apartment uh, just for the three years. Before that, I did not have a place to live. I was living different place. I didn't have any money. But for three years, I had this apartment, and I've just, I've did it. Uh, a lot of pictures everywhere. I see it about, about, about Buddhism. And I've really started to really be nasty, like you said, be really uh, honest. humble. How honest, humble, honest. Yes. Of not blaming anyone ever, letting right. people do whatever they want to do. If they want to be angry with me, let them be angry. Let them be angry with you. If they want to be mean to me, let them be because mean to me. Because that's their experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the one who's having a bad time, not you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to get involved in their games. Then you don't. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've been teaching myself that to stay humble, stay humble, do not get involved with other people, no matter how much they provoke you. Because, because, because Russians, Russians, no. oh, they provoke. They, because, because, because I've been educated in America. 
and, the, and, and now uh, on Russian TV and everywhere, this huge propaganda for the last like 10 years against America, like America is an evil country. Yeah, like, I know. It's like everyone is against America. Let them so, have it. Yeah, I know, I know. So the Russians knowing that their largest website that everyone reads about nuclear energy and Russia, they say they're the leaders in it, is done by an American educated guy. They really hate me for this. So let them hate you. I know. I know. Let them explore their hate. But some people are going to hurt you. You're not going to kill you. You're not going to create that reality. I understand. It's part of their reality. It's part of their story. And me (laughs) is just playing a part in their story inside their their, their minds. I have nothing to do with that. Very good. Yeah. You and got I, this. I try to be compassionate. I try to be compassionate and nice no. to people. What? No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> no, let them have it. You yeah, don't yeah. need to be compassionate about their journey. You can accept them for their awesomeness of choosing to be human, but don't give them any value of compassion because then you're oh. looking at them in a certain way. You have to continue to be, yeah. let them be what they are. And, and, you know, and you know what I noticed that when I stay humble, when I stay kind hearted, yeah. it's like you're you know, feeling the light, feeling the goodness, the awesomeness, like you say, the, just this quiet goodness. They'll get that. Goodness. They feel that. They yes. feel that I'm aggressive. Absolutely. 100%. And, they, and for them, it's like this, uh, they, they, like the part of their oh mind. Uh, yeah, uh, like, like where, where is the anger? Where is the evil guy? Yeah. Like, where, 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 where do we get to fight? But I'm totally like, I'm, I'm a peaceful Buddhist guy. I'm like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I was in America, lived there for six years. You can hate me for that. But, but make sure uh, you don't apologize for anything. I am, I am. I, I've, had, I've had this guilt complex uh, because I, ca- I came back in 2004. I went in 1998 when I was 15. I'm 37 now. I came back in 2004 and, this, uh, and I came back when Putin already came in power. And that's when and all this anti-Americanism started. And so for, I, would say, I would say for, for, what, for 15 years, I've had this guilt complex about being in America because Good. Russians... Yeah, so but that's now, your experience. now, now, now I have forgiven myself, them. I understand this is just part of a greater reality. Part of that the is, human experience. Part of human experience. That's it. I'm, don't make it special. Yeah, there are much now more. I have guilt. More now I don't have guilt. Yeah, no. Bye. And keep going. Anyway. Yeah. And I realized there is way more interesting things about life. Way more. Well, no shit. And, no. and I've, I've been following Bashar, I've been following Bashar. And then when I saw you, because Bashar was pretty much the top, the top of channeling that I, I've downloaded all his uh, free online. Uh, yeah. I've, uh, I've downloaded all his text, text uh, written stuff. I've studied it all. I thought that was the best. I thought this type of channeling, uh, this uh, part-time channeling, part-time channeling was the best. But you, but you have the, the state. You don't say the state of being in the now. Yeah. I think that's that, that's the way. That's, that's an authentic for you to find inside of you. Go it is. It. it is because because this is like a, a live relationship with you, with you being authentic in the now. Because I've been thinking about this type of channeling. Because Bashar is this one, one Bashar that is that is uh, a normal person that he speaks, talks. Then he goes in the channel. There's two Bashars basically. Yeah. But with you, with you, there's no two. There's me. Just me. Yeah. And that, and that and that and that and that has been a key point, a key point, of being true to yourself always, always. There's no one else to but, be true to. But like you say, you are doing channeling. I'm doing Buddhism. Bashar is doing Bashar. Everyone's on their journey. Yeah. Listen, I gotta get. I got another one coming up. Yeah. And now I'm glad. I'm glad for you. You're an inspiration to me. You're such an inspiration to really be myself. Be your own light. Yeah. It's going to take courage. You're going to go through emotions. You're going to live your anger and your hope and your guilt. And you're going to transfigure those so others can see the light within yourself. Don't think you can't change an entire nation. Because your nation is in your world. Change you, change your world. I'll send you the recording, okay? Thank you, Roxanne. What's your email? Uh... I'll, I'll send you my email. I'll send send you. me an email to make sure I got the right one. Uh, I'll, write, I'll write you on Facebook. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Well, love you. You're my, you're my inspiration. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.